Thank you so much to those of you supporting the channel on Patreon, including the big patron of the month, The Nerd Therapist. Thank you. Hey, Pokemon Masters! Berkey Potobi here, and thank you for clicking on this video. Okay, Pokemon Masters, this video has been sponsored by Pokemon Masters, the new DNA app game. It's the mobile app game, it's free to play, it's got three on three battles, there's a co op mode, there's a story, and of course, the big selling point for me, there are so many incredible characters to collect. And while there are microtransactions, the whole thing is free to play. I have unlocked pretty much every character just by playing it for free, and right now, there is a new Lurking Shadows event featuring Giovanni and Mewtwo. We which is a very interesting character to learn more about. Like the fact that he's not the leader of Team Rocket, he's the leader of Team Rainbow Rocket, and that in itself tells a story. There's lots to learn, so you know, be sure to check out the link. The link will take you to the Google Play or the iOS store, whatever device you're on. And uh, yeah, thank you to them for sponsoring this video. With Pokemon Sword and Shield here, and with DNA reaching out to me and saying, hey, you know, would you like to work on a few more videos? I thought of the perfect topic that kind of merges the new games, so Sword and Shield, with these games that are still ongoing with new story coming in. My hope, of course, is that we're going to see Sword and Shield characters in Pokemon Masters so we can learn even more about them. And one quick note, I just want to be absolutely clear that this is all my speculation and this is like nothing's been confirmed here by DNA, they're not sending any secret messages through me. This is all entirely my speculation about characters I personally would like to see in the game and of course the Pokemon I think would be on their team. For example, we learn a little bit about them through their League cards, but did you know that Kabu is from the Hoenn region? I've mentioned it on the channel like once. I find it absolutely fascinating and putting them into Pokemon Masters means that we could get even more information about them. So with that being said, I just thought about like, you know, who is the list of characters? Who is the cast of characters that we see in Sword and Shield? And what would their sync pairs be? How would they be integrated into the game? But more so than that, and, and this is kind of where the collaboration with DNA really works, is that we kind of want to use the comment section of this video as a little forum. What do you want to see in the game? I, of course, will be passing the, this comment section on to the people at DNA. So what is that that you like about the game, what would you like to see more of? What characters would you like to see implemented? Maybe now is a chance to have your voice heard. And with that being said, let's run down the list. Who are the Pokemon trainers and Pokemon masters that would fit into the uh, Passio region from Gala? Starting with Hop and the two player characters. I actually don't know at this point what the two player characters' uh, canonical names are supposed to be. You know, like how Red and Blue are called Red and Blue. Are they called Sword and Shield? Are those names? Anyway, we have Hop and the two player starter characters, and I can't help but think that they would obviously have either a Grookey, a Sobble, or a Score Bunny on their team. That would be their sync partner. Now, whether it would be the first stage or the final evolution, I'm not sure. I do believe that Hop best suits the Sobble evolution line, and that's because Hop's story in Pokemon Sword and Shield takes him on this arc of self confidence, and Sobble is kind of a Pokemon that represents that, just given that it ends its evolutionary journey uh, a little bit more confident than when it started. Uh, but yeah, I think that would be a good place for Hop to be, and then as for the other two trainers, I guess you just decide whether it should be Grookey or, or Score Bunny. Now, next up, of course, is Leon. Leon's uh, ace Pokemon is a Charizard, but that doesn't really work with Pokemon Masters because Red is supposedly already going to have Charizard, and none of the trainers have the same Pokemon. Granted, Leon might have Gigantamax Charizard specifically, but if not, I think he would have the pseudo-legendary Dracapult. It is a Pokemon that is only used by Leon in the whole of the Gala region, unless you're counting the Battle Tower, who I'm not sure what all the trainers have in the Battle Tower. But that would be a good potential Pokemon for Leon to have. Going down the list of gym leaders, it's really easy to see that Milo, Nessa, and Kabu would have Eldegoss, Dreadnought, and Sentiscorch, maybe even Gigantamax Sentiscorch specifically. But these are Pokemon that I don't think anyone else is using in the world of Pokemon Masters, and make sense for these starting three. When we look at the Sword and Shield exclusives, uh, B and Alistair, it gets a little bit harder because their signature Pokemon are again Gigantamax Pokemon of uh, classic Kanto Mons, Machamp and Gengar. And Gengar is being used by Agatha and Machamp is being used by Bruno. So if not the Gigantamax versions, then perhaps to represent the Gala region a little bit further, B, who is a fighting type master, would have Sir Fetched, a fighting type, and Alistair would have Corsola or Cursola, which of course is a ghost type and Galarian of an already existing Pokemon, so it would match with B. Opal pretty obviously would have Alchemy, no one else is going to have an Alchemy. And there's no point to contention for Geordie. Geordie can have Colossal, which is a giant rock Pokemon. With Melanie, who is an Ice type leader, again it gets a little bit different, difficult because Lorelei already has Lapras, and Lapras seems to be her ace. So if not, why don't we go with like Frostmoth or Galarian uh, Darmanitan? I think either of those would suit her as, a, as an ace Pokemon from Gallop pretty well. Piers very obviously has Obstagoon, and Rehan has Duraludon. 
So that's a pretty good start. But we do have a few other trainers with some other signature Pokemon. For example, your rival Bead. Definitely Hatterene is the uh, Pokemon that is the ace on Bead's team. Supposedly it is the Pokemon that Chairman Rose gave uh, Bead as Bead was growing up. On top of that, you've got Marnie, who I think more Pico would be a really good choice, obviously, because more Pico seems to be her signature Pokemon. Which, by the way, when playing Sword and Shield, did anyone else feel like that more Pico was way more powerful than it's meant to be? Just definitely it flinched and paralyzed me a lot. Elena, I believe her name is, she uses Garboda, which is great because although it's an existing Pokemon, no one has Garboda as their signature Pokemon. Although, I actually think it's quite cute. Yeah, I know, it's weird. It's especially Trubbish. Trubbish is adorable. And Chairman Rose's signature Pokemon is Copperaja. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Which makes sense because if you talk to Elena at the end of the game, you learn that Elena also used to be a, a kind of a workman, a miner who, who worked in the mines of the Gala region. And we know that the miners tend to use rock and steel Pokemon. And in fact, one of them can be seen in the game in the town in Nessa's town, I think it's Hillbury, with the pre-evolution. So it suits him very, very well and is also his Gigantamax Pokemon. Again, we will be able to learn this stuff and more about his history if they, these characters were in Pokemon Masters. And finally, you have Sword Ward and Shieldbert, who appear at the very end of Pokemon Sword and Shield, and I can't help but think in terms of a Sword or Shield Pokemon, uh, while well, they don't use Bastiodon, Bastiodon is a really good Shield Pokemon, it evolves from Shieldon, and Aegislash is a great Sword Pokemon. Maybe they would both have Aegislash, I know one of them has a du Blade. But if not, I mean, if they're really seen as evil characters, in the same way that the Giovanni has Mewtwo, maybe they would have Zacian and Zamazenta. But that sort of remains to be seen if they were, of course, incorporated into the game. As I say, DNA have just incorporated into the game Giovanni and Mewtwo. This in the new Lurking Shadows event, which is available now. If you want to check them out, and thank you to them for sponsoring the video, do click the link in the description. And while you're down there, why not leave a comment? Let the team know what you would like to see in the game, what characters you'd like to see, and who you'd like to learn more about. Get creative in the comments. Thank you for checking out the video. Please do check out that link. And of course, so high Pokemon Masters. This is Ash Ketchum. You just watched a video by Bird Keeper Toby. That makes you a Pokemon Master.